యోగేంద్ర యాదవ్ గారిని కలవడం జరుగుతుంది ఆయన రిక్వెస్ట్ అంటే ఈ మధ్యన అనంతపూర్ ఇట్స్ ఆయన మొత్తం వెళ్ళి వచ్చారు ఆయన ఆర్గనైజేషన్ తరఫున సో వారిని అనంతపూర్కి వెళ్ళినందుకు అనంతపూర్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఎలా ఉందని అడగడానికి ఈ రోజున ఇదే సమయానికి ఇక్కడికి వచ్చారు అది ఆ ఒపీనియన్ తెలుసుకుందామని ఫస్ట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఉంటూ టాక్ అబౌట్ అనంతపూర్ i'd never been to anantapur uh, i went there only a few months ago and my impression of andhra pradesh is very different you know i expect andhra pradesh to be lush green to have it yeah lal godavari <laughs> district and so on you know to have a certain physical infrastructure and so on and then i go to anantapur somehow it sort of stuck in my eyes and my heart uh, anantapur and bundelkhand these two things just stuck i've traveled all over the country over the last two and a half years anantapur and bundelkhand just somehow froze in my heart vast areas of barren land no sowing and then in the public meeting that we went to there were these uh, 40 50 women holding photographs of their husband their brother their father who committed suicide and i looked at their eyes you know these are frozen stone frozen eyes with not even tears in those eyes and i you know something i i then asked about the economy i said you know is it this year which is so bad then i realized no it's actually every year someone explained me the ecology of it and said it's a permanent rain shadow area that something like this is a routine occurrence and so on and so forth and it's social impact in terms of trafficking its impact on labor migration but that's the economics part of it but what struck me was if if this if we cannot turn this area around we have no business to take pride in india if anantapur has no future then india has no future and i feel the same way about uh, bundelkhand that little stretch that touches uh, uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh and uh, i i i went there i i felt as if this was sub saharan africa just remove the hindi boards and so on this could be sub saharan africa what kind of claims do we make about our country future progress ease of business global wealth all this sounds so so shallow so hollow when you go to a place like anandapur and that